So, if you need to make a replacement transmitter for your Radicon toy, or you just want to play around with courier tubes, then the easiest way to do it is just to get a barbecue igniter, remove the nut. I put a couple of wraps of black electrical tape on here to make that a little bit bigger. I'm going to put up a file in Thingiverse for this case. You can see this is going to be the top. This end here is the bottom. I've already threaded an 18 inch long piece of very flexible wire and I did some bends on it. You can see when they go in there like that. The idea is we're going to push this igniter up in there. This bend on this end of this wire is going to hook into that tab. The other end of it up here will be near the spark so the spark will jump between the two and the rest of the wire works as an antenna. So normally I put a little bit of a glue inside the hole here, turn this at about a 45 degree angle, just shove it in, let the glue set up. Then once you've bent your wire around, you just feed it down in there and it'll catch onto that uh, groove on the side of it, which I know I'm, we're off camera now, but I'm, I can't see what I'm doing if I'm on camera. And once that's all the way down in there, then the cap has a place to uh, push the wire down into this slot and here hold that bent end of it like so because we want to hold it as close as possible to that interelectrode. Put some glue on here, glue the cap down. I don't know, just wrap a rubber band around it until it dries. Once it all dries and you have a nice solid uh, and safe to use transmitter. Usually on the end I'll take some needle nose pliers and uh, wrap a little circle so there's no chance of poking somebody's eye out or catching it on your clothing or anything like that. But it uh, works very well with the uh, vintage Radicon toys and it works very well if you're experimenting with uh, courier tube remote control circuits. So there you go.